Right, no messing around, let's go straight back into it and try and remember what the hell I was doing. Uh, I do need to change my audio input. I don't, output. There we go. That's better. Right, I'm in the entrance hall. Actually, can I? The entrance hall. Actually, can I? The entrance hall. Oh, God. There we go. Well, the audio is certainly a lot better. It is going to pick up every single click of the mouse, though. Which is a bit of a pain. Yeah. And my mouse is gone. Why's my mouse gone? There we go. Uh, right. Flying class. Professor Sharp's assignment. Acquire and use a focus potion. Acquire Maxima and Edurus potions and use them simultaneously. Okay. Oh, I'm up to 10 keys. Amazing. Ghost of love. Use the map with floating candles to find the treasure. The map shows a forest, bridge and candles. I've put it into my bag for reference. So I'm guessing I need floating candles as an item. I just realised I'm covering up my readout with a new mic, but never mind. That's fine. I'll have to do something about that at some point. Alright, let's... Rebellion. Ah, that's what's up. There we go. Uh, let's go. Okay, field guide page doesn't know what that is. Astronomy table, no idea. Collection chest. I guess is a thing I've been collecting. Demi guys, scat statues. I don't know what that is. But I'm guessing that's the thing I'll find out later. Um, right, I want to go to Hogsmeade. I need potions. Uh, let's just flew there. Save some time, stop messing around. It seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Well, considering I didn't take a road to get here. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. I love your Scottish accent. What can I do for you today? Right, you can... Um... Sell me a wise decision. Thank you. Recipes, because why not? Worry about ingredients later. Uh, right, I need an Edurus potion, a Focus potion, and a Maxima potion. A wise decision. Thank you. And then once I have left here. Uh, that's the wrong way. Uh, right, I want to head to the world map. Um, and where's the entrance to the Forbidden Forest? Oh, there's a hamlet there. Leopold Babcock. Okay. There's so much stuff that I can explore. Ah, Dark Horse Battle Arena has their own things. Small Bandit Camp where I haven't got the collection chest. Spider Lair. Spider Lair. Jackdaw's Tomb. Um, where is the bridge that leads to the Forbidden Forest? I guess it's that one there. 
yeah. I could have just read the actual descriptions of the flu points. That would have been sensible, but nope. Oh my god, these flowers. Ah, oh, no, that's what I needed. I needed floating candles. There's got to be a shop there somewhere. Bee supply shop. Wizard wear. Brooms. Ollivander's wands. Tomes and scrolls of bookshop. And Pippin's is potions. Uh, seeds and fertilizer, and a plant shop. Where the hell do I get floating candles from? Hmm. Okay, well I guess that's a different thing that I'm going to have to do. For now, let's just flew back into somewhere and then I need to use some potions I guess it's like this so focus potion drink that Maximum potion, drink that. Edurus potion, drink that. Oh damn. I actually am Stone Boy. Oh, it actually makes stone thunks when you walk as well. That's really cool. Oh. Why did I just attend a class here? What's happening? Quests, Professor Sharp's assignment, return to Professor Sharp. Okay, so the, the lesson was directly linked to this, that's cool. How are your assignments coming along? Yeah, I've done it. I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to Pulso. Let's see what you can do. Yeah, but I don't understand why you're the one teaching Concentrate. me. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. One depulso. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. Okay. Um, I'm going to replace Repero with it, I think. Although it is a combat spell, and I feel like Expelli Armour is actually kind of useless for now. So I'll put it there. Well done. I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spell casting. Pushes enemies and objects away from the caster. Okay. That is actually incredibly useful. I want to change this back to. Let's do the cabbage because I've got the talent for that. Try working with a wand. How nice to see you, my young friend. I kind of want to go around looking for keys again, but I think for now I'm going to try and make a bit of progress first. So let's go and do broom class. Uh, I can just walk there from here, it's fine.
Mm -hmm. I still can't get over when they just absolutely destroyed the other one. That was hilarious. Revelius. Yes. Flattened armor. This set of armor belongs to Sir Scracklethorpe the Heedless, who unwisely challenged a mountain troll to a game of musical chairs. Damn. Hmm. Not gonna worry about any of that. I wanna learn to fly. Uh, for some reason, I haven't discovered this flu, so let's do that. Right. Everybody, grab a broom, and we shall get started. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, <laughs> let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Very polite to her up, broom, Oliver. Up, up, you stupid ratty school broom! Up. Wow. One leg over, Apparently so everyone else sucks at this. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Okie dokie. I will try. Good. Now. For your first lesson, Ascend fly through descend. each ring in the courtyard. Oh. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in one piece. Ah, ah, I think I'm getting the hang of this. I don't like A and D being Excellent. left and right movement. Oh, no, it will do it with the mouse. Okay. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! Ha! Good. I've got this. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <gasps> this is actually really intuitive flight mechanics. Which makes a change from most bad. games. You're going to challenge me to a race or something now. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. 
I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right Hello. in suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? Uh. Yeah, why not? Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Right. Are you gonna... Let's hope the Headmaster isn't proper? having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Where are you going? Ahead of the gardens. The Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? Okay, so there's a bar for that boost. Okay. That's cool. There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tall Everett. Right, okay, so if I hold W, the mouse controls lateral flight. That's Kagawa's whistle. If I let go of this W. Concludes our tour. I can look around. Looks like she's already dismissed class. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. Yeah. Speed burst, top of flight speed is in descent, and hold to dismount. Okay. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor. Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you. You do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Thank you. Some of the pro professors here are real like Sorry troublemakers about that of the with Kagawa. But you have to admit those views were worth it. Um yeah, I kind of wish we hadn't gotten in trouble Perhaps, though. But we did get in trouble and Kagawa could hold it against us. Rotten luck that. I didn't think she'd see us. But it's no matter. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. Oh, hi, yeah. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. I'll be a test pilot. We've got enough rewards available in the challenges menu. Uh, I'm kind of fine with ignoring that for now. The cross one's duel is to beat. Yeah, that's me. Take you on any time, boy. Accio. Uh, right. I've not forgotten about our library venture. Oh, hello. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Ooh. Is that going to be the room of requirement? Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Oh. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor Jesus. as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. 
Okay, which one of those is going to be the room of requirement? Because I'm really super hyped to be able to go there. Ah, Sebastian wants to show me the Undercroft and will give me Confringio. Professor Weasley will teach me Evanesco and a Conjuring Spell and will take me to the Room of Requirement. But... Send me an hour regarding the delivery. I'll just speak with him if I'm looking for some simple work. I'm going to go and do this because I want to go to Hogsmeade anyway to see if I can buy a broom. Um, what is that? Oh, that's literally the quest I'm doing. It's just Hogsmeade, Hogsmeade is in that direction. Which I always forget. Um, I'm going to flew there for speed. And I'm going to flew here to go to the broom shop first. Because if I can get a broom, it will probably help with this side quest. Any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Um, where's this chest? Oh, this chest is inside here, isn't it? And I don't think I can get in there. No, it's locked. Okay. Uh, right. Broom shop. Oh, there's a side quest here as well. Well, this is going to be for testing the broom, isn't it? Face. Wonderful. Indeed, I am. Well, oh, you have a chest. I will take that. I will also loot that. Is there no... Ah, there is. I knew there'd be one here somewhere. Sprint Witch's Sporting Needs. Run by the amiable Albie Weeks, this shop sells all manner of wizarding sporting goods, including the latest broom models. Gossip around town is that Albie himself is working on a number of broom enhancements. Ah. You think yourself a bit of a creator, do you? Hello. Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Hmm. Um, disrupted trade you routes? Said disrupted trade routes caused you to close, Spint Witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently, criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere. But you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Uh, what else can you share about brooms? Do you brooms? mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. Yew weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the yew one's darker reputation. Then you add the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms Ooh. every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Yeah, let's have a Sounds look at what you've got the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Now, are they going to have you. stats, or can I just buy something that I like the look of? What are we looking for today? Preview that broom. item is of the highest ah. quality. Okay, so we've got the Ember Dash. For those with a fiery temperament. Hogwarts House Broom, okay. Moon Trimmer Broom, built for stability. Stylus Broom with a light touch. And a comfortable and speedy broom with a unique woven design. I don't that know if any of these have any stats quality. though. Or if the type changes anything. Like That's got saddlebags, can I carry stuff on it? I hate that. Oh, yeah that's very me. I'll take that, thank you. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Oh, can I buy more than one at a time? Okay, so can I switch them out for different things, I wonder. Um, I'm going to sell that. Nice doing business with you. I probably should have worn that, but never mind. Leather long coat. Do so, because I've got what's All of that can go. I need to keep these to go to the room of requirement, so that's fine. 
Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for the broom. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I'll do I you know. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct the broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, okay. another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on hmm. my first upgrade. What say? So you want me to do a race, okay. But I want to ask you some stuff. So you took Kagawa's Sounds class. Sounds as if you took Kagawa's class. I did. But my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the cannons or Puddlemere United. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. Okay. Why me? I'm a Why random you guy you've never met. To you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll ask that anyway. A passion for brooms? Because I want to know Since everything from this game. Since the I saw my first Quidditch match, seeing flyers manoeuvre the way they do, oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. Yeah, I'll give it a go. Sounds intriguing. I'm up for Let's a race. I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Hmm. Okay. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Now, can I summon my broom? Uh, I can, but I'm not allowed to fly in Hogsmeade, apparently. All right. Ah, I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. Yeah, I agree. Someone who's passionate about their work is always Hogsmeade, good. Here I come. Um, it has, however, swapped my quest marker, so I'm going the wrong way. Because I need to be over here somewhere. Uh, Pippins. This one? Yes. Welcome. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. Um, no, actually, I've come to be of assistance to you, Mr. Pippin. You need some help with the delivery. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Hmm. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. I mean, she does sound annoying. But I don't want to refuse the quest, so yeah. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. Huh. She's a talented potioner in her own right. That logo on your shirt. I wouldn't shirt. mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Oh, okay. 
That logo on your shirt looks suspiciously like the um, English Scouts logo. Very similar. J. Pippin's Potions, established in 1753, is the apothecary in Hogsmeade where proprietor Parry Pippin sells a wide variety of potions and their ingredients. That's possibly the most useless field guide page I've found so far, but never mind. Deliver three invisibility potions to Fatima Luang. Have you given me the invisibility potions? Or do I need to get them? I'm going to assume that you've given me them and I'm just going there. Because, you know, that's how deliveries work. I shouldn't have to... Complete the tasks I've given you and then meet me in my classroom mm. to learn Defindo, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. Ooh, okay. What's your assignment? Use an invisibility potion and use a thunderbrew potion against enemies. Um... Okay, well, I'm at Pippin's Potions, so I may as well grab those while I'm here. And I'll do that in a bit. Yo, Pippin, before I go. Potions of a speciality here, should you need any? Uh, drop me a Thunder Brew. A wise and decision. Thank you. I'm spending a lot of my gold. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Uh, what I think I should do... Before I do anything else, is I'm going to go back to Hogwarts. Um, greenhouses. Because I forgot, I'm growing plants and I can also make potions, but if I don't harvest the plants, they can't grow back again. Uh, now I need to remember where my growing table is. It's not here. I, I'm going to harvest everything that I can, though. Because it seems crazy not to. There's a lot of venomous tentacular in here. Right, we'll harvest all that. I don't think there's anything here I can harvest, is there? Uh, where is my growing table? Is it this side? Anything to harvest? No. No, this isn't my table. Ah, it'll be this one. There we go, the one with the pot on. Collect the detony and then that will be ready in another 10 minutes. Right. Fucking Professor Garlic. Um, I, I have seen a few memes about her. What are you up to now? As much as I'm trying to avoid seeing Hogwarts stuff on social media and things. Because I really don't want this game spoiled for me. I'm loving it so much. Have you been in any other time? I keep getting annoyed at myself that I chose to stream it because it means I can't play it when I'm not streaming because otherwise I'll miss out massive sections of the game. But what I might do is play some of it in my free time when I'm not streaming and... Oh, hello. Tap three. Oh, oh, that's cool. Um, yeah, I might play some of it in my off time and look for some of the collectibles and just not do any quests and just go around like looking for deadless keys and that sort of thing. Uh, right, let's go see Fatima then. What does Q do? Oh, just bring the controls. Okay. That's fine. Oh, 
This game is so beautiful. Oh, your character does actually lean as well. Some kind of bridge or aqueduct over there. I have just seen a chest on the map as well. Ooh, some interesting looking ruins. I can't pass that up. What do we have here? Oh, it's a bandit camp. Um. Hogwarts is very lucky they've got protection charms, if you ask me. I haven't a clue why there's such a fuss over poaching. Enough to be flesh for everyone. Thunder brew. Invisibility potion. Turns out I've got quite a few of those. Can't figure out why there's such a fuss over poaching on your heads when our expectations take food. Oh, hey, let's show me some dark matter. Oh, there'll be a little diesel. I know. Uh, I've just gotten past the floor. There we go. Surprising. That's tab. That's tab. Yes. Your poaching days are over. Hell yeah, they are. How do I... Oh. Oh yeah, V sends off a thing to show me where to go. That's not what I was trying to do though. Um... Oh, I forgot I had that. Incendio. Oh, I forgot I've got the... Um, teleport. Oh, hello, Major Up. Oh, can't block that. Oh, that thing went down. Can I the pulso them? Oh. I know it's the other one, it's the. I don't have yet that I can slam them down into the ground for a major Oh, yeah, there's more moonstone, because I still think I need that for the room of requirement, although I don't know what for yet. But we'll find out. And there's a cave. Um. Well, before I go to the cave, there's something here. Is there something here? Rebellion. Hmm. No, there's something up there. There is a chest in there, but I can't. I mean, now that I've got my room, I don't even need to worry about climbing puzzles. I'll just go up here. Landing is unavailable right now. That's annoying. Why can you not land on here? Why can you not land on here? Oh, but I don't need to land. Okay. Alright, cool. That's fine. Um, okay, I can't actually get through that. Maybe I need a particular spell to get through that sort of thing then. I do want to have a look down here. Yeah, chest. Boom. Ooh. Uh, can I talk on juice? Because I can. This one needs to be Leviosid. Okay. This looks intriguing. It does. 
Is there going to be another thing with a symbol on it? Oh, there's a lot of shields. Um. Rebellion. Hmm. Oh, I'm going to go out on a limb and assume I need Bombarder to get... Oh, no. They just open. Okay, then. Two empty chambers. Oh, that was in this one. Chest. Okay, cool. It feels weird, man, but I'll take it. It's all good. And now the cube is floating in the wrong place, but never mind. Oh. There we go. Just have another quick check, make sure there's nothing around here. This place has seen better days. Nah. Right, let's continue on. Go and deliver these potions. And then see what I want to do after that. Oh, what is this? What is this? Ah, oh, mongrel there, okay. Ah, oh, there's Merlin Trials. I definitely want to come back and do the Merlin Trials. Oh god, I'm going all the way down there. Well, I'll say all the way down there. Not really that far compared to the size of the map. The insane size of this. There's so much stuff. <gasps> right, I will come back for Merlin Trials. That also looks interesting up there. Oh, just everything everywhere looks so interesting. I want to go and explore it all. New town, guaranteed there's going to be side quests. In fact, it looks like there's some kind of event just going into the town. What's going on here? Ah, it's a musical thing. Okay. Um, Seems a pleasant enough as a place. A page. Rebellion. What is this? The Tilted House. The locals call this the Tilted House due to the odd angle at which it sits, wrapped in the roots of the overhanging tree. Yeah. That's quite cool, I like that actually. I'm just going to come in and raid all your shit. Okay. It's also some weird ominous whispering, but that's fine. Oh, it does open. <sighs> Difficult to get through that door. Right, there's a shop, there's a Merlin trial. There's a Merlin trial. What? In the town? Oh, there actually is. Here's a pleasant okay. surprise. Let's get the flu. Oh, the other mark is telling me to go and see her. That's who I'm taking the thing to. That's fine. But there are pages. Rebellion. Ginger roots. The barkeep in Keenbridge keeps a stock of ginger root handy to fend off his customers' nausea and to keep them imbibing a bit longer. Smart man. Oh. Something underneath here. Oh. Didn't need to do that. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Uh, that's locked. Should have been okay. here by now. I'm gonna guess the that thing nice underneath is Rebellion. inside. Yeah, that was locked. Oh no, it's there. Cool. Oh, and there's some over there as well. I will never say no to free shit. I guess there's probably diving spots here as well. Can I hop on? Oh, I can hop on my broom from the water. That's amazing. Is 
And according to the map, there's a cave under the water. Definitely going to be checking that out. Rebellion. Beehives? Yeah. The wizarding world needs honey for their tea as much as the muggle world does. I never put honey in my tea. Nice, it's just too much faff. And I prefer coffee. Right. Uh, chest. Let's go have a look at this. What do we get? Ah, it's in a locked door. Of course it is. Right, I'm going to... I know I said I was going to try not to get distracted so much, but I'm going to go and have a look in this cave first, because underwater cave, of course I am. Cotton grass dog dog. Well, you enjoy that. I'm going down here. Um, or not. Can I not leave because I'm in combat with a dog dog? Is that what's happening? Okay, fine. Let's jump out of the water. Collect some leech juice. And then fight a dog dog. Who looks a bit bugged out, to be honest. Yeah. Alright, go away then. Okay, I guess I'm just going to sit here and beat on you for a bit. Because you definitely seem bug. <clears throat> okay. Didn't get the bonus task that I was after, but never mind. Right, now can I get out into this cave? There we go. Ooh. The visuals in this are so good. Oh. Interesting. Can I just climb it? Or I guess I'll go. Ah. Akio. Aha, switches. Okay. So there's going to be enemies in here somewhere. I would almost be willing to put money on it. Rebellion. Anything around? Not here. Some stuff here. Oh, is it literally just a room with some treasure in it? Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll take that. Also, really weird noise as well. Oh, it's the frogs. Uh, and that's the door I came through, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, cool. Random free loot. I'm guessing I'll leave. Yeah, there we go. Let's just leave the way I came in. Let's go and take her invisibility potions over. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Actually, let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Yeah, let's see if I can do Merlin. I can't see anything around that looks like it's part of this. Um. Huh. What is this challenge? I don't know what this challenge is. Something to do with the bridge? 
Ah, here we go. So there's a thing somewhere that I've got to get into there. Hello, cows. Um. Hmm. I would assume it's either up the hill or in what looks to be a graveyard. But if there's another one of those spheres, my guess would be it's up here. Take some low swing. Stone. Oh, I can't basic cast wild jump. Oh, this is just the road. Um, there's a dark mongrel there. I don't really want to fight you right now. I'm looking for a sphere. Rebellion. Two mongrels there. Some less one flies there. Not really seeing anything else though. Strange. So what am I supposed to get in? Mm, what's up here? No, oh, I looked up there. That's where the cows were. So this is where this is. That's over there. I definitely need to put something in this basin. I just don't know what. Ah. Furious. Oh, yes. I need to. Launch an object at an enemy with the pulse, though. Okay. Incendio. Oh, I need to set on fire first. Ah. Okay. Incendio. Oh, jeez. Okay. Where's the other guy gone? Because I know I didn't see him. Whoa. Whoa. I missed both of them, really. Yeah, I caught you in the last boy, eh? All of you down? Yeah, there we go. That was a bit of a battle. Rebellion. Oh, is there anything here? No. What in the hell am I putting in that channel? Or depression or whatever it is. Hmm. Oh, I'm guessing this is an inferior spawn point of some description. Okay, fine. No problem. I really don't know what I'm meant to put in there. Because there's nothing up there as far as I can see. I wouldn't be able to get it across the water. It's not like in a tree. 
wonder who lives here. How strange. Revelio. There's some chests over there. Oh, and there's one there. Okay, let's go and grab loot, and then I'll give her these potions, and I'm going to forget about this murder control for, for now, because I have no idea what I'm supposed to put in that. Climb up on the boat, please. Climb up on the boat, please. Are you stuck? Oh, God. Alright, you can't climb on the boat. Can you climb on the dock? There we go. God, I really thought I'd beans that up then. Don't be dissing on Pippin. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Um. I guess the also. Should have been here by now. Always take that Pippin. Okay, so I've got to get this over the bridge. Can I kill it? Is this one going to play ball? Pun fully intended? No. Okay. Fine. So I guess you're supposed to use the pulsar on these, but I just thought I punched it around before. Because I didn't have the pulsar when it seemed to work, so why not? Got on, get up there. There we go. That should be in. God damn you. Oh, come on. Get in the thick. No, don't bounce up the side. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Not so tricky after all, Merlin. Thank you, Merlin. Over to the cabbages. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. That Pippin should have been here by now. Oh, uh, yes, I'm here with your stupid potions. Madam Stop Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Wow, you're a real asshole. Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Oh, you are such an asshole. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Yeah, all right. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. All right, fine. Okay. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not such chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. You mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them, but certainly my Ashwinder customers have their reasons. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. 
Nah, too late. You told me you serve Ashwinders now. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. So look what, what you, you got. For sale? What do we look for today? Oh wow, your shop actually sucks. <coughs> Good job there. This will do just but fine. I will take some money off. Thank you. you. Uh no. 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 <coughs> Thank you for stopping oh. in. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm sure you do. You pain in the ass woman. Why didn't I get this climb over the wall? There we go. Why didn't I get this chest? I was locked. Well I know that. Not sure locked. how I'd fare in a little place like this. Right, now I do want to make progress, but on the way back I want to do Merlin trials and I'll probably grab these two flues on the way as well. What have we got here? Mongrel uh Oh yeah, that's where I was. Yeah yeah yeah. I know that's the one I've been to before. Okay, so Merlin trials and flues and then we'll go back and do some proper questing. What do you have in store for me this time? Hmm. Ah. It's this one. Okay. So I think I'm going to need Lumos here. Yep. Yo, Glowbugs. Lumos. Come with me. I need you to go in there. Rebellion. I then need more of them. And I can't say oh, there's some. And there's a chest. Let's grab that. If I can. Cool. Yeah, I don't think I can clamber while I've got Lumos up, because otherwise I'll have to drop my wand. Alright, that's two. There's the other one. Nice and easy. Perfect. Ah! Yeah, I was right, you can't clamber with Lumos active. Well, I can just immediately reignite it, so that's fine. There it is. Boom! Merlin Charles right here. Thank you, Merlin. God, I love that spell. Talent, I guess. Uh, right, next one. Uh, is again on the way to a flu, so that's perfect. Let's go. I expect they're all flying through the trees. Oh. This is in a bandit camp. Well, that's how you stealth. There we go. I remember now. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. Yeah, I also know goblins when I see them. Let's throw some tack at them. Get down. Disarm an enemy. Do I even have that on? Repair. Oh, okay. Ah, that's repair. 
Uh, it's bloody armor I do for that, isn't it? Alright, let's get rid of repair. Oh. Fuck. Come on, close to that. Expelliarmus. Down you go. You only have Ranrock to blame. Rebellion. All uh, right, just up there. The mushrooms that I will collect. Oh, total cat even. Uh, this box thing, I'm still not sure what they are or what they're for. I can't accurate them. Oh, I can depulso them. Okay. But that gets me to a chest I've already opened, apparently. Oh, this is where the... Um, the goblin dude's chest was. Okay, so these do respawn with enemies, that's interesting to know. There's still these things up here, but I don't know what they do. This is going to be part of the Merlin trial. Because I hadn't discovered the Merlin trials when I came here before. Chest up there. Oh, there's one up there as well. Let's go get that. And then we'll land. And do the Merlin oh, draw. Here's a pleasant surprise. Well, it's not a surprise. I already knew it was there. Right. <clears throat> no, I don't know what these are. Oh! Okay. Haha. <laughs> cool. Right. So there has to be some more of those. I guess. Well, I don't know where. Rebellion. Over there. There we go. We go in this one. Is it just the two. I think it's just the two. It's not just the two. Where's the other one? Ah, over there. And they're out there. Cool. That works for me. Um. Incendio. Accio. There we go. What am I doing? It? Sweet. Merlin trial complete. Merlin himself would be proud. Flu next, I think, isn't it? Yeah. So we go to the flu. Oh, there's another Merlin trial there. Right, we'll go discover this flu. Oh, my boosts seem to not be running out there. I'm going to ignore everything else. Uh, it would be helpful if I put another mark on the map though. Merlin Trial. Let's go. <coughs> Return to parry. Yeah, I'll do that in a minute. I'm busy discovering things at the minute. Ooh, it's an orb one. I know what that means. Merlin trial. I just need to break these, don't I? 
pretty sure I'll follow this one. Rebellion. So, oh, they over there. Ah, and one there. Should we all? Yes. Boom. Okay, so then there's a flu, which I'll go and discover. I'm guessing someone's at the door because my dogs are going nuts. Where's this flu? Oh, it's inside. Travel was before I invented flu powder. There's a chest as well. I'm not going to pass up a chest and then I need to go and see what the dogs are barking at. Alright, sorry guys, I'll be back in a minute. 